Hi, Steve here from Photo Mastery Club. And in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a technique that you can use to recover detail and basically fix a really badly overexposed part of your sky when no amount of highlight recovery in Camera Raw will uh, be able to rescue the shot. So for example, with the image like you can see on the screen at the moment, I've got a really, really hot spot in the sky and it's really quite a large area. So you know, it's going to take more than just a little quick fix. Um, but so, you know, it looks like quite a real, and it looks like quite a challenging uh, thing to fix, but I'll show you a way that we can do this actually quite easily. So before we get into the tutorial, just quickly, if you want to download our free PDF cheat sheet, which lays out our six stage Photoshop workflow so that you can use that to get consistent results in Photoshop every time, then just click the link below this video now. Otherwise, let's crack on with the tutorial. So like I mentioned just now, the, uh, the problem when you have a really high, uh, a really high contrast scene like this is that if if you forget to take multiple exposures like I did at the time for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking, then you're left with a shot here where you know no amount of highlight recovery is going to get that detail back in that bright part of the sky. So it's going to come down to finding out how we can actually put some detail back in there so that it just doesn't look so awful. Uh, so. Okay, you might be surprised at how easy this is. I'll just run through the steps and talk you through it. Now, I mean, the, the basic idea, what we need to do is get detail back in here. So we're gonna be using basically copy and paste to take a part of the sky from over here and stretch out and paste it into the shot here. But we need to do it in a way that it doesn't sort of mess with the, uh, the general kind of light in the scene so it still needs to be brighter here where the sun is because that's what would make sense uh, you know if we just straight forward copied and pasted a part of the sky from over here to over here then you know the whole sky would be evenly lit and that just wouldn't that just wouldn't look right so the first thing that we'll do is just take I mean I'm just looking around the image and this little section here looks quite a good candidate so I'm just gonna select that with the marquee tool and I'm going to press command or control C on the keyboard to copy and I'm going to press command or control V to paste and now if I hit V on the keyboard that will change to the move tool and I can just reposition this now obviously it's not big enough to cover the uh, the whole area so what I'll do because because of the nature of this uh, this type of adjustment we can get away with just stretching this whole section out. We don't need to worry too much about the detail here. There's going to be enough, um, you know, in the resulting uh, edit. So if I press Command or Control T on the keyboard, that will transform this layer. That will give me these uh, control points, and I can just literally drag this one here to extend it to be big enough to fill the uh, the whitest area here. Um, I'll fix this little one up down here in a minute separately but first thing is just to cover that whole area with the uh, with this section I'll hit return now to apply that change now obviously that doesn't look very good so the first thing that we can do to help blend that in is simply change the layer uh, the blend mode of this layer to darken and so that has basically made it so that this layer is going to only kind of show through where it's darker than what's underneath it. So in other words, it's going to fill in the bright bits and leave the darker bits. So that's pretty cool. doesn't look quite right yet. So what you can do to just blend that in a little bit more is reduce the opacity of this layer. And in this case going to around about let's say 60 50 or 60 percent i'll split the difference and make it 55 and now we can see that just kind of fits uh, fills that 
gap in there. Do you know what? I might just do it even more subtly. I'll go down to, let's go down to about 30. Let's leave it there and then we'll build the effect up with another layer um, afterwards. So that's the first thing we need to do. So we've copied and pasted, stretched that section and then put it on dark and blend mode and reduce the opacity. Now over here, you'll notice we can see like a, a straight line from uh, you know, the fact that we've just used the square section of the sky and copied and pasted that in. So we need to fix that next. Uh, to do that, I might just go back to the normal blend mode so I can see the edge. Um, and then I'll add a layer mask to this layer. And then choosing the brush tool with a black foreground color, I'll just brush around the edge here. I'll go to 100% opacity on the brush. I'll just brush around here, get rid of that hard edge that you can see. And that's kind of helped blend that in a little bit more. So now I can go back to darken blend mode. And there we go. So we've filled that in a little bit and it's added a bit of texture. Not much, it's quite subtle. Um, but the important thing at this stage is that we haven't made it too dark. So because that's quite a subtle adjustment, what I'll uh, actually do now is repeat the process. So I'll grab the marquee tool. I'll grab a section of the sky. And command or control C to copy. Command or control V to paste. Actually, I need to be on the background layer when I do that. So apologies, let me just redo. So making a selection, command or control C, command or control V to paste. Now let's put layer two back on top of the layers here and press V on the keyboard. Let's move that over here. Now command or control T so we can stretch this out again. This time I will cover the little hotspot down here. And I'll press return. Now let's add the layer mask before we blend this in this time. So add layer mask, black brush, and I'm just gonna get rid of this hard edge. And I might just need to stretch it a bit again because I've uncovered the uh, the bit down the bottom here. So Command or Control T, let's just stretch this out. Okay, that's good. Now let's go back, change this layer, layer two to darken blend mode and just repeat the process here. Reducing the opacity this time to about 40%. And really that's all there is to it. So from this point, you can continue to on to process your image to completion. Uh, this is something you'd want to do kind of at the start of your workflow. And again, speaking of workflow, if you want to download my PDF cheat sheet that guides you through my six stages of my Photoshop workflow that I use to get consistent results every time so that you can repeat those uh, steps and do the same for yourself, then just click the link below this video now and I'll send that right over to you. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.